I'm Scott Cannon from the Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition. On July 28, 2012, a few thousand concerned citizens from all over the country came to Washington, D.C. to tell our leaders our concerns about the natural gas industry. I asked some of the participants this one question. What does President Obama need to know about fracking? What everybody needs to know about this is that we're all here for a very simple reason. This is an incredibly destructive process. It's destructive to communities. It fractures communities. It's destructive to land and water. It's destructive to people's health. But I think the point of being here today is that it's destructive to our democracy. That what we're seeing is a different kind of fracking, right? And a different kind of injection. We're injecting, the oil and gas industry has injected billions of dollars into our political system. And that has literally fractured the way the government does business. And that is what we're really talking about here today. That there is, that there is an infusion of, uh, of cash to such a level that citizens are outsized within our own democracy. And that, that has to stop. Because as soon as, as soon as we can get some candidates that are actually on the side of the people, um, we're gonna start to see political change. Because what everybody knows here is that this process is destroying their lives, their ability to, to go about uh, living in America and living out the American dream. So what fracking does, it is actually destroying the fabric of the places where we drill. President Obama, you need to know that we need to ban fracking now to save our children. President Obama, did you know that each hour the sun beams more energy to the Earth's surface than the global population uses in an entire year? Please make solar energy affordable for all homeowners and all businesses. There's no way to make fracking safe for the health of our communities, our children, our environment, or our future. Fracking is destroying my future. It needs to be so stopped unless they can do it safely. There's more to it than what the industry tells you. Property rights means more, much more than mineral right owners having rights to our property. Property rights means that if I own the property, I have the rights to the property. I can do with it what I want. Property rights means that I have that the industry has respect for my property with respect to people and their homes. President Obama needs to focus on a sustainable alternative energy plan that does not include fossil fuels and create jobs using sustainable renewable resources. I think that President Obama already knows that the impacts are real because anybody, nobody cannot know that there are impacts at this point in time because of everything that's been in the media. I think he needs to know that we vote and that we will get his attention with our vote and he needs to pay attention to us as constituents because as the environmental impacts expand, so will the constituents living in sacrifice zones who vote. That if he doesn't stop permitting water withdrawals on the Susquehanna River Basin Commission, the Global Shale Gas Initiative in the State Department, the lack of enforcement of the National Pol Environmental Policy Act and the Department of Interior, the lack of enforcement of the Endangered Species Act, and so on, uh, and his permitting of drilling, he will lose the election in Pennsylvania, that's for sure, and probably nationally. You need to know that in Pennsylvania, the uh, industry came in with guns a-blazing and we don't have a sheriff. I'd like to, uh, for President Obama to know a little bit more about the history of the Wyoming Valley in northeastern Pennsylvania and see what an industry did to our area starting 150 years ago. I feel like a deal has been struck between government and industry that discounts people living in the natural gas rich regions and I feel in that way our way of life and our location, our home, our homeland Penn's Woods, Pennsylvania, has been sacrificed. We're going to be out of water and out of luck very soon. Mr. Obama, clean water means a good life. Water pollution is the main concern of the Isaac Walton League, okay? I'm the vice president of the Isaac Walton League and we're monitoring the waters throughout Greene County, Worcester County, West Virginia, we're finding a serious problem with our waters. Now we know where the, where the problems are. 
But we out, our DEP here in the state of Pennsylvania does not want to get involved and help us. Hydrofracking is chemical genocide. The world as we know it is dying. And you're the one who can make a difference with this mandate of the people. He's a smart president. He should regulate this uh, exploitative industry to keep us safe. Well, at the same time, providing the jobs that he's asking for. So that's what I would tell him. President Obama needs to know about fracking. Is the fact that industry lies and the science is on our favor. We have the advantage of truth and there's impacted communities all over the U.S. And we need to take away the exemptions. They do not make sense. Industry is getting away with criminal acts. But the health and safety impacts aren't something for the future. They're happening right now and the industry needs to be held accountable. The rush to drill is out of control and we shouldn't even be contemplating moving forward with more until we have federal and state safeguards in place and then we can talk about it. President Obama can, needs to know that he can pass the FRAC Act, the Fracturing Responsibility and Awareness of Chemicals Act, which will require the full and public disclosure of the chemicals used in fracking operations and regulate the practice under the Safe Drinking Water Act. The President needs to know that there are many different types of resources we could be using and that fracking is no, it's no way to Get, it's just poisoning our water and ruining people's lives and in a country where you're free to do whatever you want, that's not okay. Um, the president needs to know that you you can't eat money. The cost of these people's lives isn't worth it. Brothers and sisters, good afternoon. And thank God for this planet. And we thank the Almighty for you for coming out and standing up for our planet. And if you have a congressman or a senator that is coming apart at the seams because he's been injected with, or she has been injected with too many campaign dollars from the oil and gas industry, you have to get those fractured representatives out of our government and start to restore unity and start to restore the things that we fought for, that our forefathers fought for, that people are fighting for all over the world. Democracy and justice. We're going to gather around and we are going to walk this town and rock this town as we let them know who we are, what we stand for. We, the Council of the City of Pittsburgh, are to look to our oaths of office and our, the health, the welfare, and the safety of the people who we were sworn to uphold. And we brought before the Council science law, business, and we heard what was said. And at the end of that fact-finding period of three months, we made a decision based on the facts, not that the sky was pink, not from the BS, from the bought and paid for research, not the jobs and money, but our health, safety, and welfare. And we voted unanimously to ban it from the city of Pittsburgh. We don't have a gas problem here, an energy problem. We got a democracy problem here. And these fools better find out quick, we mean business. Fracking is hurting people. Put people first. We need clean energy. The one thing President Obama should know about hydrofracking is that we don't need it and we don't believe the, the lies that we are dependent on natural gas or any other fossil fuel for our energy independence or the future of this country. What I would like President Obama to know about fracking and natural gas is there is no safe fracking. Poison the water, poison the air, we get sick and they don't care. Uh, President Obama needs to get honest and real about the dangers of fracking. Fr fracking cannot be done safely. It's highly pollutive, we don't need more pollution, and we need to start putting uh, our backing behind renewable energy. It's time. It's not safe. It pollutes groundwater. The gas and oil companies are hiding the dangers of fracking from the American public. 
you know, natural gas is not a bridge fuel to the future. We need renewable energy now. Methane is 21 times more prone to greenhouse gas, and it's not the solution to climate change. It's not going to work for climate change. We need to stop now and expedite renewable energy, wind and solar now. President Obama needs to understand, and this nation needs to understand, that it's not just the water. It is the water, but it's water, air, land, forest, farms, food, and climate. All of which means that we had better not frack our own future. We have to stop it now. Hey, Obama!